Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas Eve. Today is Christmas Eve and this is going to officially be my last Christmas DIY for you guys for this year until next year for Christmas when I start rolling out more Christmas DIY. So this will be my last Christmas DIY that I will have for you guys. Today's DIY is going to be of course from Dollar Tree so it's super affordable and it turned out really cute but I did want to share with you guys super fast. The first clip you're going to see you are going to see that I show you guys a spray paint which is this one right here and I bought from Walmart. It was super cheap. It was only one dollar and I have used this spray paint on previous DIYs and it has worked amazing. It works really well on other DIYs, but for some reason for this one, it just was not working. It was not sticking to my little houses that I was trying to spray paint. I would spray it, I would let it dry for even an hour and I would go back and it all would just drip off. So I gave up on that spray paint and then I decided to use this one that I already had on hands from a previous DIY. I bought this one from Home Depot. And this is in like an antique like white color but since I did use it on the previous DIY there was barely anything left in the can so I was only able to do one light coat on the houses so you are going to see that the color from the house is peeking through and that is because I was only able to do one light coat on each of the houses but I do plan on buying more of this spray paint so I can do another good coat and then it'll cover the rest of the color. Just an FYI, do not use this spray paint on those houses. It will not stay on, at least for me, it did not. I decided to just go with this one and that is the brand that I used and this worked perfect. So now let's just jump right in to my Christmas DIY. All right guys, so for this easy and affordable, simple, quick Christmas Dollar Tree DIY, these are all the supplies that you are going to need. The first thing you'll need is some type of fake snow. I just had some extra snow from another DIY. You will need some miniature figurines of your choice. And then if you would like, you can get one of these like glitter drapes that can be also for fake snow that I'm going to be using. You're going to need a paintbrush some Mod Podge and then your choices of houses I picked these two little cute houses and the cool thing is that you can put a little tea light candle in the bottom that's battery operated and it will light up the house and then you're also going to need some spray paint you're going to see that I end up using a different spray paint I don't suggest using this spray paint at all All right guys, so for the first step in this DIY, you are going to spray paint your houses any color of your choice. As you guys can see, I first went in with this white spray paint that I bought from Walmart. It was super cheap, it was only $1. And I have used this spray paint on other DIYs and it has worked great. But just for these houses, it just was not working. It was not staying on the houses. And you can definitely see all the colors. It was pretty much see-through. So I decided to go in with an antique white spray paint that I already had on hand that I purchased from Home Depot, but there was barely anything left in the can. So I was only able to do one coat. So you're going to see that you are gonna be able to see a little bit of the color peeking through. But if you have this spray paint on hand, two coats will do fantastic. Then I'm gonna go in with some Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint the roofs of my houses. Once I am done painting both roofs of my houses, then I'm going to take my loose snow and I'm just going to sprinkle the snow on top of the roof and that's going to be just an extra added touch of snow on the house. You don't have to do this step, but I like that fake snow look, so I decided to put a little bit of snow on the roofs. And the last step I'm going to do is just shake off any excess snow that is on the roof. And this is the final result of my easy, affordable Christmas Dollar Tree DIY. As you guys can see, you can see the color peeking through the houses and that is because I did not have enough spray paint in that spray can to do two good coats. I was only able to do one light coat, but once I buy some more spray paint and I do another really good coat, it'll look so much better because you will not be able to see the color peeking through. Regardless, I really love the way it turned out. Like I said, it's so simple and affordable. Everything was purchased from Dollar Tree, so I love the end result. Although you can see the colors peeking through the house, 
That will change once I paint them again. All right, guys, so that is going to end my last and final Dollar Tree Christmas DIY for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all of my Christmas DIYs that I rolled out this year. I would have liked to do more, but I just didn't have time on my hands to do a bunch more DIYs, but I did do quite a few. If you guys missed any of those previous Christmas DIYs, I will link them all down below along with a few that I did last year as well if you are a new subscriber and did not see any of those DIYs. That is going to end my Christmas DIY for this year. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday break so far. Like I said earlier, it is Christmas Eve, so I just want to say Merry Christmas to each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with your loved ones. Please stay safe. Also comment down below all of your family Christmas traditions that you will be doing tonight or tomorrow. I would love to hear all of your Christmas traditions that you guys do. And as always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe and join my YouTube family and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in my last and final Vlogmas video, which will be up sometime tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.